thank you for meeting with me today. Would you please share who you are for our viewers? My name is Siegfried Kasper. I'm professor and chair of the Department of Psychiatry and Psychotherapy at the Medical University in Vienna, Austria. Thank you. What is successful recovery from major depressive disorder? Successful recovery from major depressive disorder is not only treating depression, depressive symptomatology or loss of drive, but also the somatic symptoms associated with depression and also anxiety symptoms associated with depression, like also can be full-blown anxiety disorders, which is quite often in depression. In terms of residual symptoms, are particular ones associated with delayed functional recovery? Delayed function of recovery are usually uh, physical symptoms on the one hand side and on the other hand side also suicidality. Most importantly, we have to understand depression comes in different stages. Like if a depression started 20 years ago, that's a different disease than if depression just started half a year ago. So very importantly, we have to take this into account and treat the patient very effectively already at the first episode of the disease. That's the same medical principle which you have when you treat diabetes, hypertension or asthma. But this is sometimes forgotten in psychiatry to treat the patient very effectively at the first illness episode. Because interestingly, if you let the disease go, then the recurrence rate gets lower and lower with each episode. Are some residual symptoms more important than others in terms of achieving functional recovery? One of the most important residual symptoms for functional recovery is cognition. Cognition specifically for those people who have to use their cognition for everyday uh, practice, their life, in their job. So if they cannot function properly with cognition, then depression is very likely to come back. So patients tell me, well, depressed mood is gone, the drive is here, but I still cannot concentrate myself. Given your work, how can precision medicine improve outcomes? Precision medicine needs to take place also in psychiatry as it does in oncology or in endocrinology. And precision medicine means that we take all the symptomatology as well as the course of the illness, hopefully also in future genetic variables or brain imaging variables together in order to find the best treatment. Unfortunately, right now we do not have biomarkers as yet. Unfortunately, we do not have brain imaging results as yet. But they, they'll come and there are fantastic results presented in this meeting. So we have to go with the data available, which comes also out of this European group. That means staging of the illness, comorbidity, severity, and suicidality. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Pleasure.